my beautiful people it is sherry mom back with another video hope you guys are having an amazing day i am very excited today is a special video i'm unboxing a a gift from laura's art corner in the celebration of getting this amazing little thing laura has sent me a box of <laughs> glitters oh my goodness i'm excited so we are going to get this unboxed. I'm going to show you all the amazing new stuff she has given me. And then to showcase all of her amazing glitters, we are going to use a uh, mold that was gifted to me from another lovely lady, Julie Cuts from Pour Your Heart Out. This amazing mold, I think, will showcase all her amazing glitters. So give me one minute. I am going to, well, I guess a second for you, a minute for me. I'm going to get my stuff together. And we're going to get into some glitters. I'm very excited. I'm glitterifically happy. <laughs> I'll see you in a sec, guys. I'm so excited. I opened all of these. We got one more to open here. Let's just get this opened. I thought I'd do part of it while we were off camera. And that way I wasn't wasting so much time. Because, you know, we got to get right into it, my friends. So I am just going to dump all these out. These are freaking amazing, Laura. We have some beautiful new glitters. And a couple of... These are like powders that you... Almost like a chameleon powder, from what I understand. Look at these. Oh, my goodness. And I am the luckiest girl in the world. Look at that. Some mirror, mirror. Oh my goodness. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the fairest of them all? I'm going to have to say it's Laura. It is Laura. I'm looking for some, one little thing first. Because I want to make sure. All right. Oh, it is. Okay. Perfect. Shifting Cs. Okay. So, I'm excited. So, we're going to open each one of these up. So, let's start over here. We have a little bit of a theme going on. Let me see. Um, and these. So, let's do these ones first. These ones are all stars. So these are awesome. So this one is Golden Star. I'll try not to get any anywhere. Look at that. That is beautiful. So that is Golden Star. And then we have Silvery Star. That is gorgeous so glittery and then this one is Christmas star and it's red I just like tapping the bottom top of it so that it comes off the top gorgeous gorgeous and now we will <sighs> this is Princess Milan and it's kind of like a pinky. Oh, look at that. I hope it's, it's going to be everywhere. So that is gorgeous. That one's called Princess Milan. This one is Princess Snow White. Ooh, isn't that pretty? A little bit of a chunky, fine. That is gorgeous. And then this one is Princess Jasmine. Very pretty. Kind of like a purpley, greeny, blue. Very nice. And then we have another princess. This one is Princess Ariel. So it's kind of like the oceany colors. Very pretty. 
love it. I love the chunky and the fine together. I think those are some of my favorites. So we have four princesses, three stars. We have pink rainbow. I think I may already have this one, Laura. Oh, isn't that pretty? Very pretty. Holographic. Fine or gl glitter. <clears throat> and this one is silver pixie dust. Ooh. I'm going to be everywhere. Look at that. That is just so beautiful. Anything that glitters is beautiful. <laughs> and this one is pink dazzle. Oh, look at that. There are hexagon shapes in there. Chunky and there's fine. Gorgeous. That's why I thought that mold that uh, Julie gave me um, would showcase these beautifully. And this one is Radiant Rose. I was going to say Rapunzel. Radiant Rose. Ooh, look at that. Very pretty. Very pretty. Nice and fine. And the last one is Shifting Seas. I thought it looked a little different, but it is the same because I have some Shifting Seas because that's my other favorite other than my amazing Mirror Mirror. It is like blue and it's green. That's gorgeous. And of course, we can't have anything but this is Mirror Mirror. That's all I have left from my last goodie bag. So I'm gonna put this in here. And we all know what Mirror Mirror looks like because Sherry puts that in everything. <laughs> very, very nice. Thank you, Laura. And these two <clears throat> are pigments that you brush on a mold. They're quite fine. This one is called Magic Diamond Blue and Magic Diamond Purple. So let me just put some on my I'm going to put some on my hand here. Let's see if we can. You can see the hue. You see the inside of the lid? So we'll have to try that with something. Maybe actually that tray mold, this would be pretty in the edges. And then this one is the purple. Very pretty. You see it on my nail? Woohoo! Very nice. Again, Laura, thank you so much for the amazing gift. Oh, and I got glitter everywhere, which I kind of figured that. So with that, my friends, I'm going to get my stuff together. We are going to use this amazing um, mold. I'm going to use my very fast curing polyurethane, if I can find it down there. I figured, and I'm going to copy Julie from... <laughs> I apologize, Julie, for copying, but I think it would be awesome. So I'm going to use my polyurethane, pull it out, and each one of these will be a hole. And we will pour some glitters in there. So with that, my friends, I'm going to clean my mold up, because you can see there's hair all over it. I'm going to get my glitters together. I'm going to mix up my white polyurethane first, get that done, get it cured, and then we can come back and do the glitters in it. So I'll be very right back, guys. Okay, guys, I am back. I have <clears throat> cleaned off my mold and I have put some, just put some paper towel over top of it and I have my mold on top of my, um, let's, resins uh, level table leveling table and now I'm going to use the let's resins polyurethane the two part this cures in 10 minutes oh am I going to sneeze <coughs> excuse me sorry guys so what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix up four ounces I'm going to do two coasters and then I'm going to mix another four ounces and do two coasters and that way I don't accidentally over cure 
because I don't have a whole lot left and that's about that. So I always put in part B first because I find the thinner part of the resin I always put in first but this one I really don't think it's going to matter because they are both quite thin and oh my my and when you here I'm going to move this out of the way for two seconds when you um are measuring two parts B and then two parts A, and I always, when you're looking at it, try to look eye level at it. So let's get in here. We're always wear your um, health and safety, guys. I got my gloves on. I am choosing not to wear my mask, but that's my choice. So I can talk to you guys. So there's two. And you have very limited time to work with this, guys. It is like a minute. So I'm gonna stir it real quick. And then that is it. And you don't have long to pour it because it gets hot very fast. The only the only benefit I have right now is it is freezing and it's cold. So hopefully that'll give me a little more working time. Now, let's see, four ounces. So that's two and two. And there we go. Hurry up, Cherry. Hurry up, Cherry. I'm just using a stick and we're going to mix. It is cloudy. I'm going to mix until it kind of becomes one color. It don't take much to mix it because it is so thin. There we go. I'm going to leave it at that. Quick, sweet. And here we go, because I don't want to have it cure, because I don't have a lot left, because if you've watched my other video, that's how you make reindeer poop. All right. And here we go. We're going to do two. I'm going to pour in one spot and just let it flow in. And then the other one. And pour a little more in this one. I didn't pour as much in that one because I wanted to make sure I had enough. Perfect. And then we'll put one in this little guy. And this little guy. Oh, it's overflowing. No. Okay. I'm just using my paper towel because I do not want it to overflow. Oh my goodness, Sherry. Oh, what did I do? See, there's always something. Oh my goodness. Let's try and wipe it off on here. It's getting warm. Wow. I guess worst case scenario, I'm just gonna have to cut it off the edge. I can't believe I did that all over my. All right, let me get my um, gloves out, my little wet one here, wipe my gloves off, and I'm gonna try and give it a quick little torch. I can't believe I did that. I think we're good. Here, let me get a spatula. See, there's always something. You stay tuned. It's like a comedy show. <laughs> always something. 
I'm just going to try and see if I can clean it up. And it's cold, so that's why it's probably not kind of set in yet. I can't believe it. That is so funny. Oh, well. It is what it is, where they say you don't cry over spilt milk. <laughs> or over poured resin. All right, so with that, my friends, I'm gonna do a second batch and I'll see you guys when this is all cured. I'll, give me a sec, I'll come back and we'll do the other two, just a sec, guys. Okay, I've poured, it's starting to cure, so that's good. I've poured four and four, or two ounces and two ounces in this little cup. I'm just gonna give it a quick stir. Make sure it's together. Again, like I said, it don't take much to stir it because it's quite thin. And here we go. I need to be able to see. That's it. I'm going to pour in the center of this one. This one we'll see if it if you're able to layer it because there's a little bit of one in there and in here I think that's it I don't want to put any more because I don't want to have the same thing happen I'm gonna use my little torch again just get rid of any of the little bubbles that are there Perfect. And there's a hair. There's always something, I tell you guys. There we go. So I'm going to cover this. I always use a little, um, take my gloves off so I can grab it. I always use a little, oh, uh, where did I put it? Um, oh, this is huge. This one's huge. I use these little tents that you are meant for um, food. Oh, here it is. And I do have a little wee one, so I'm gonna put this over top of this, give it its 10 minutes to cure, and I'll see you guys in a little bit with the actual amazing Laura's glitters. I'll see you in a sec, guys. Okay, guys, I apologize. This got left for longer than what it should have. But it is what it is, my friends. Let's pop these out. Oh, we got a drop on that. I'm just gonna. Oh, they look so pretty. Oh, this mold is beautiful, Julie. Look at that. That won't be hard to cut off. I'll get out my little tool. We'll clean off the edges. Look at that. That is such a nice mold. All right. So I am going to grab my, this is my burnishing tool. And yes, people, I don't want to hear it. I, this is how I do it. I, you know, do it whichever way is comfortable for you. So you don't cut yourself, but this is, here, let's get this out so I'm not putting it inside the center pieces of those. But all I'm doing is cutting and it's, I really like this little tool. It, it rotaries around, which is kind of cool. 
This is the one I did the, um, the, oh my goodness, we overflowed. Now, I think what happened is because with the, this polyurethane, it is so thin that it doesn't do well with the, when you have it domed. Because that, once it breaks, it's done, my friends. I just wanted to get this before it really cured, because this cures really, really hard, which is, which is nice. There. I just find I have more control bringing it to me. There we go. Got a little bit up that way, but these are so pretty. So I counted, there's 25 full little compartments to put stuff in. This is pretty. And this little guy. This little guy ended up with a drop on it. And another little guy. So we'll leave those there and we'll do something with those. But this guy's pretty. That'd be a nice little keychain. Be a cute Christmas ornament. And this one looks good. I don't need to do anything with that one. Just want to make sure all is good before I start with the others. The next step, putting all those amazing glitters. So what I'm doing is I have, I think we're going to count it again, but I'm pretty sure Laura sent me 13. The Lucky 13. I'm using every one of these in here. So, three, six, nine, twelve, and my mirror mirror makes 13. So, I'm going to mix up some clear. Um, I'm not going to use the fast cure because I don't know how long it's going to take me to pour them individually into here. So I'm going to get my resin mixed up. I will be using the um, the regular resin. Let me just find it here. That's the fast care. I keep getting all these fast cures. It is upstairs. So I'm going to go grab it and mix it up. And I'll see you guys in just a couple minutes. Hello. So I have my coasters over here. I have 15... 13 cups set up because we have 13 different glitters. Like I said, I'm going to put one in each of these. Now I counted each one has 25 little holes. So I figured I could get two of each color and one of one in each of the holes. So stay there. Oh my goodness. I'm putting that beside me. Okay. So what I thought is I get these out. I'll use these because I can point them and pour a little easier. I'm going to put one heaping spoon of each in each cup. And I don't know how much resin, but I'm going to mix up six ounces. And we'll go from there. What I have left over, I'll pour into a bunch of different little wee molds. So we're going to go through them again. This one is Princess Milan. Princess Milan. We'll do one mix because these ones have the fine and the chunky. So I'm going to do one good spoon. Let me see what's in there. Yeah, that should be good because I thought it doesn't have to be a lot because it's going to sink and level out. So even if there's a bit of clear on the top, that will be fine. So the next one is this is the Princess Snow White. We have a little bit of a princess theme. And we're going to do one big scoop of that after I've mixed. Next one is Pink Dazzle. Amazing. So go check Laura's glitters out. Support a small little business. She's got some sales on right now from what I understand. Um, and don't forget you can use my discount code. 
it's hard nowadays. I know money's tight with people and it's just, oh, sorry, I guess I can tell you what this one is. Radiant Rose. We've already went through them all, but I'm going to, this one's kind of um, a heavy flake, not a flake, but it's fine and it's a little bit, I don't know if the word clumpy is the right word to say, but it is. This is Princess Jasmine. And we will mix that up. Very pretty. In there. And the other one is Princess Ariel. Really pretty, like a greeny, bluish. And like I said, you really want to give it a mix because it's chunky and fine in it. And then we have the Shifting Seas. Go. We'll do that in here. Just gonna wipe off that spoon so I don't get the blue in the other ones. And this one is silver pixie dust. Very pretty. And this one is pink rainbow. And this one's a fine one, so you don't really need to mix it, but mix it up so it's not clumpy. There we go. I don't know guys, I still got this little tickly cold thing going on. All right, so we have three left plus our mirror mirror. So these are all the stars. This one is the Christmas star. Ooh, red stars. Do one in here. And then the next one is going to be Silvery set star. No, oh no, 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 no. Well, I got a little bit of stars in my pixie dust one. <laughs> and then the last one is the golden star, our second last one. That one is pretty as well. There we go. And the last, the, vis, the piece de resistance is the amazing mirror, mirror. Oh my goodness. Here we go. Amazing. And one, one heaping, I'm gonna stir it up. And one heaping spoon of that will go in my last one. There we go, guys. I don't know. Might have bit off more than I can chew. <sighs> Julie did an awesome job, so hopefully I can as well. <laughs> I'm going to remove these, move them over, shake off my tray, bring down my little things. I'm going to mix up six ounces of my resin. I am going to use the normal epoxy, two-part epoxy resin from Let's Resin. Um, please, as you're using your resin, please use all your PPE. I will be using my mask. I will have my gloves on. When I come back, I'm choosing not to wear my mask so I can talk to you guys. And with that being said, I'm gonna get all mixed up, even though I am mixed up already, but resin-wise, we're gonna get mixed up, and I'll see you guys in a sec. Okay, guys, I am back. So I decided I mixed up eight ounces. I'm going to try to put basically a half an ounce in each cup, and hopefully, I can 
just a little. I don't need a whole lot. Oh my goodness, I took my glove off to fix that up. Give me one sec, guys. Let me put my glove on. <laughs> my apologies. Always have your gloves on anyways because you really do not want this all over your skin. So I'm just kind of covering the... Um, Just enough to cover the glitter. Oops, doozers. And then I'll see what I've got here. So we got our stars. And I figured two of each in each hole should be good. And then what is left? I will put in, I've got a couple things pulled out. I've got my little, um, my little bird with a dish and then I've got a butterfly here. So, we, so pretty. Now I know these colors probably aren't all going to go together. Uh, you know what? I'm going to need more in each. Look at it, I didn't even use four. So let's do... I want to be able to pour it and I need enough for four of these cavities. No, two, four, six, eight. I'm just going to divide it up. And the little keychain, I did put um, my green tape on the back of it. I'm just going to divide this up because whatever I have left will go in our little, those star ones will find. So that was eight ounces I mixed up. So basically two ounces for each um, of these coasters. And that includes all of the other little things that were in the mold. So the, the four little plain pieces plus the keychain. I'm just wiping this out guys. I know that if, <laughs> these ones are hard to clean. The other ones I can flip around inside out, easy peasy, but these ones are extremely hard to clean if you leave the resin in them. So with that, good, I'm good. I'm gonna change my gloves because these ones are really messy. All right, let the funds begin. Please, please, please let it work for me. Julie, send me some good vibes from Australia so I can... <laughs> you and Laura, send them. Make sure I get this done right. All right. Here we go. Let me just take that tape off my wrist and mix up the rest. I want to move a little quick because I don't want any of this to cure on me. My resin was chilly, so that might not be too much of a factor. Just so pretty. But you want enough that you can pour it. Oh, that one looks just like snow. Is that the Ice Princess one? Okay, let me just get this bit off here. And here we go. A couple more to stir. You can fast forward, my friends. What I'm going to do is show you a little bit here and there. I'll do focus on the one. Put 
two of each color in in a couple and then I will fast forward it so that it because it might take me a minute or two just get mixing these all up I just didn't want to shortcut you guys with not seeing everything because I enjoy showing you all oh now do we know which one that one is Ooh, is that the mirror mirror on the wall who's the fairest of them all all right here we go All right, so I'm thinking let's do, because the red isn't going to be, the red kind of clash, not clashes, but the red doesn't really go with all the other ones. So I'm going to put a red one in the center of each one. And then that one will be the one that only has one, because there's 25 and I have 13. So here we go. <laughs> let's move these all to the side. Because I know I'm going to knock them over. Here we go. Putting it to a little point and in the center. And I know I've got way more than I need. What I should bring out is my Perfect. Look at, and look how much I got left. That's crazy. Okay, so with this one, I'll put him in the middle. I put tape on the back so that it doesn't come through the hole because I want to use the keychain. This is a barbecue skewer, and I'm just sticking that in there. It's a little bit small, but hoping it'll stick to the thing. All right, so now. Well, let's just start with the stars. We'll just go do two on each one if I can. Two, four, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, I just want to make sure that was right. So, all right. We will do a silver. And here, one here. One over here. Oh boy. And if they go over, realistically, it if some falls underneath, like here there's a little red, it don't matter because I'm putting it on top. If it was going to be on the bottom, I don't think it would, it would matter. Sorry. I shouldn't say I don't think it would matter. It would. Put that one here. Two and this one. And up here. And again, I've got a little bit left. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to carry on. I'm going to fast forward you guys so you're not being tortured. And I'll see you guys in a second.
here we go. This is what you get with all of these glitters. Here we go. They turned out beautifully. That is gorgeous. Now I will have to drill the hole for the keychain. As you've seen, the struggle was real. There are still a few pieces that even though they were flush, they still bled over. So I'm going to come back in and see if I can scrape them off because I did, I was able to scrape some of it off with my nail because the polyurethane is um, a little bit of a different resin. So just gorgeous. I just love all the colors in that. So yeah, so everything I use today will be in the description box. Um, don't forget to go and see there's a big blobby there. I'm going to try and fix that up. Um, don't forget to go check out Laura's Art Corner's web, uh, web page, <laughs> um, her site. Um, don't forget to use my discount code. It is all capital letters, Sherry Moulton 10%. And here's what we did with all of our leftovers. Amazing little bird. Cute. Cute, cute, cute. Uh, all of those. I like how the bottom turned out with the uh, ombre look almost. So, yeah. So with that, I want to thank Julie for the amazing mold that we used in the video today as well. So, yeah. Go check out Laura's. Check out what's on sale. And I will... See you in the next one. Love you guys. Have a wonderful day.